Welcome. Grandpa Bill. Grandpa Bill's Grunts and Groans podcast. The timing of this show is now Saturday morning, May 11th at about 4.19 a.m. And then this one is going to kind of be a weekly recap, if you will. It's been a pretty hectic week. Good week here at PA Sales, Kennel Kelp, it is Animal Products, for myself and my granddaughter's business. I'm going to talk out for you in a moment here. I'm going to talk about my tourmaline water and my new amethyst elixir CBD drink drops that I talked a lot about over the last 10 days or so. I'm going to show you the product and the water and give you my verbal attributes to it, testimonial, if you will. But I want to talk to you about several subjects that have transpired with the business. So I want to talk about aromatherapy, per se, and how uh, animals, it is animal products, website, we talked a lot about not only the original essential oil recipe, but this infusion of the CBD products that I also offer in the way of, at the moment, the CTFO pet oil is infused in the existing formula for Ayers Aromatherapy, both in the roll-on and spray version, in the relax, focus, and age well formulas. And we're going to be um, soon infusing the 10x pure that I've talked a lot about over at my website, which we have exclusivity on and so forth. And then right behind that, I'm going to um, soon submit the Amethyst Elixir CBD drink drops that I'm co-marketing with my business constituent, Seth Kuzanski, who I deal with on the tourmaline water as well, and promote and resell the water. So, the aromatherapy with the original recipes, which are available at adasfamilyproducts.com, the CBD version is available through myself at kennelkelp.com. You have to contact me there, and then we can walk through the parameters of how to attain it and so forth. Unique to the CTFO, I'm looking for team members for those that may be interested. I'm going to talk a lot about that in a moment as well. So this all ties into a hodgepodge of what's happened really quite meticulous matriculatedly over the last 10 days or so as I've waning down all these extensive products that I've talked about over at the website, here at the podcast show, my blog talk radio show, my free websites, about how I'm waning down, <clears throat> I'm in semi-retirement and all that kind of good stuff, and my magic birthday for Social Security and all of that's next year. So that's what intrigued me to come on board with the CTFO business opportunity that you can look at for yourselves. <coughs> Pardon me, but you might want to really give it a look as being a client and a lot of attributes and testimonials for their products. And I am a client as well as being an associate. So through the aromatherapy, my next facet of marketing now is for the cats and the horses, especially horses. I'm going to be talking a lot more about horse therapy, horse chakra, how these aromatherapy products, and I think the CBD drink drops, which I'll get back to in a moment, that's another exploratory area, would be aromatherapy unique to horses. So, as a whole, in 
a really long time of doing an animal oriented business, being a lifelong pet owner, childhood, you know, lover of pets, animal rights, all of that, all the way up into to being this crusty old man that I am now at 65. But you can learn how to communicate with animals and it can be time really to even practice confidence building. It's just an amazing thing. I'm going to highlight one of my long-standing clients who truly is a horse whisperer. I'm going to talk about her in my blog, Bob, long-standing client, Bob Sanders. I'm actually kind of concerned about her well-being. I haven't heard from her in quite some time. I'm trying to contact her, I'm trying to track down family members. She is quite isolated on a rural, very rural wildlife sanctuary in Western Virginia. Virginia, the state in the western part of, not West Virginia. And, uh, yeah, she's 85 plus. So, in any event, feeling a little bit melancholy about that this week, too, until I can identify it. So, bear with me. There's some strong emotions involved. Um, really hoping that Bob's okay. So, in any event, one of the many things that she's done over the years when she was in her professional life before she retired and so forth, she was a renowned dog show person in that genre, mostly dogos. And over the years, she's literally just taken in all these animals to include to rescue horses. And we started all these conversations over the years with products, and she's been a client, she's actually been a representative for me, she was a southern distributor for a fish oil product that I had many years ago, we go really way back, and we connect on the chakra part of it, chakra, I'll get back to that. But what I now want to do is through her good tutorship through all the years about horses, she's so connected with all animals. <clears throat> and I've provided these products for animals and to include horses for years, glucosamines, kelps, and now these CBD oils. As we all venture into the CBD marketplace to whatever extent that we do so. So I want to incorporate more of introducing the ubiquitous audience to uh, the applications for aromatherapy horses, but I'll be talking more about my kelp products and so forth moving forward. This all ties back, <clears throat> for those that may be listening in, I have invited factions of audiences coming in, several for the potential CTFO business opportunity, welcome. Seth Zansby, my co-proprietor, and well, he is the proprietor, I'm sorry, I co-promote his products. Welcome, Seth, if you're breathing on through. Um, my kennel kind of call clients and those of you that are here for the first time or what have you, welcome one and all. But unique to this local meetup group that I'm starting here in Great Portland. It's about the Animal Rescue to leave my support of, looking for local supporting uh, business entrepreneurs that may indeed support animal rights and uh, welfare support for animals and be pet owners. That's not predicated, by the way. It's just people that have that kind of mindset to quickly <laughs> throw what the context of the initial meeting on that will be as of Friday next 17th, Friday the 17th, at the Barron Center here in the local Greater Portland area. So I'll talk much more about that through the weekend <clears throat> leading up to and including that meeting. But for those coming in and for those that have interests, that may be precipitated by this to come, you're welcome. If that affords your uh, schedule and so forth. So Seth will not be able to attend. That's one of the things I did want to get out. It's a conflict in scheduling, and that happens, and it happens so quickly to put it together. And For the reasons that I expand upon over at the blog, there's a reason that it's at the Barron Center. There's a reason that it's Friday nights and so forth. So we'll do our best with that. In the context of that, it's all in support of animals, mostly the Animal Refuge League, my uh, local refuge league here, 
products that my granddaughter and I have supported for years, and all these products where I have the percentage of sales going to them and so forth. So I want to talk more going through this weekend at the time of, of this uh, taping of the show, the early on Saturday morning, the 11th, I'll be commencing to talk about horses more specifically over and above where I've been talking pretty much dogs over well, pretty much for 2019 so far up to this. So my meetup group, when it happens, as I said, We'll meet authentic business owners, hopefully. We'll grow referrals, hopefully. hopefully. We'll deepen client relationships, hopefully. We can do all kinds of things in the way if they manifest themselves, depending after an initial meeting, what we formulate. We can hone and exchange workshop marketing skills, build businesses together to include my own. I'm looking for a team for the CTFO. I will be pitching that, but very, very quickly, quick overview, I'll have some good handouts for you on the display, and we can cut right to the chase in that initial meeting, but that will also include CES CBD, Drink Drop, uh, I'm sorry, Drink Drop, CBD, Amethyst Elixir, I'm sorry, Old Man Brain, you guys will get to know about that too, <clears throat> I'll be talking about those in CES absence. Moving forward in future meetups, Seth will join me. Seth is still working on getting on my show. We're all crazy busy, insanely busy. And when he does come on my uh, show, my blog talk radio show, I'm going to change the theme of that when he gets there to do so. We're going to talk about, he has like four businesses. I have like four businesses. So we're talking about mutual businesses, but we're talking about when he gets here on the show to do so. We're going to talk about uh, his other fine company, one of the many uh, living nuts. We're going to talk a lot more about how that retrofits into my plans for Ada and this nutritious lunchbox program that I've been talking about for years to include the tournament and water, which I'll show you in a second. And uh, I'll be recapping that as well, as well as Seth's new venture with this uh, Amethyst Elixir CBD drops which just got off the ground for myself and him as of Thursday last week, whatever that was for a date. <laughs> Sorry. So a little bit more about the CTFO, and then I'll talk at you about the how we stress prior and so forth. Thank you. So the uh, CTFO business opportunity, if it's of interest, can bring the best kind of entrepreneurship together it would be you and me, hopefully we're both real people, dedicated to building businesses with authenticity. My emerging sales team on the CTFO will learn from each other and will grow our networks unique to that venture together. And then I'm hoping on a local level to build the community if the CTFO operation formulates here on a regional local level or not and given received referrals that I want us to have collaboratively and looking at how we can explore those types of things on a local level as well, especially at this initial meetup meeting. So I want it to be fun, I want it to be neutral, I want it to be peaceful, and I want it to be calm. So, um, Again, I'm just trying to be as straightforward as I can be as a man at 65 years old, which is fine. It's not 165, but have an appreciation of how I would be starting a meetup group simply on the chronological ladder as opposed to if I was 25, starting it up on the chronological ladder. That's all. Total neutrality, just ask me for that perspective. For you guys and gals that are viewing this to understand how I'm kind of coming out of retirement, it is very complicated to jump back into an arena which to a large degree the way that I did it in my career that I supposedly retired from, it gets a little bit limited, was in outside sales and all of that, but a lot of those uh, I talk about were years and years ago and everything was different very years ago. So 
I'm catching up in a lot of regards on that too. Case in point, with my lobster claw hands and not being able to maneuver keyboards well anymore and all of that, I just got um, my first digital business card on the cell phones which I know all about the technology and so forth, but I'm so naive to it. Uh, my wife, Graham, will be the integral player on that. Just uh, you'd, you'd have to know me and appreciate that. But I have a digital business card. It was like a huge step up for me. Everybody's got digital business cards today. This is where my then and now catching up, that's a microcosm example, but that's kind of where I'm at on that. <clears throat> so pardon me, the CTFO business opportunity, it really can bring the best kind of entrepreneurship together, but it's like anything, you have to perceive it to be right for yourself. I think what does get lost in the translation a lot of times is it gets guilty by association with some of those other opportunities that when the old adage, when it sounds too good to be true, it probably isn't. I've been of that viewpoint myself on many. This truly is different. It truly, truly is. My most recent client on the uh, CBD drink drops, which I will get to, <laughs> Jen, I think she's contemplating the CTFO business opportunity as a whole, but she made a very relative point I talked about it in one of my shows. She did keep it simple, silly. She just said to me, she goes, bill it via email. She said, it does really seem to be a low risk or no obligation opportunity. And I said, it really, really is. <laughs> and I think she has a better understanding of that. And if she does come on board, she would be dynamite. It, there's no sales involved. You don't really have to be a salesperson at all. We even talked about someone like myself. I've been over selling it for a year the light finally came on it's all i know is selling you you do not have to sell this so i don't want to belabor that point but i do want you guys to afford yourself the opportunity to just ed edify yourself if indeed you are looking for any kind of an opportunity and again the most attractive thing that i found again being 65 being a sole proprietor being whatever degree of retirement i am or not or aspire to be and all that crazy stuff I know for a fact of being a sole proprietor for 25 years and having had to be responsible for my own overhead, shipping, packing, receiving, customer service, webmaster, chief cook, water washer, really seriously as any sole proprietor. What's real intriguing for me on this business opportunity, no overhead. I don't have to carry inventory. They ship it. They pack it. They deal with all the customer service stuff. Buyer remorse, any kind of uh, variable you, that we all know, returns, crediting, coming up with flyers and advertising material as far as that goes. You can certainly do that as an individual, but you understand what I'm saying. It really is as as simple, that's why it's hard to believe, <laughs> as you direct people to this webinar, pretty much, it's that simple. And they are revealed the opportunity to get a free website. It is free. I've had it for a year. Hear me out. The website is free. It, it's free. You don't get charged. That's another attractive. You don't have to maintain the website. You don't have to update the website. You don't have to do any of that. Okay. You don't even have to pay up front for anything. And you can still do this as a business opportunity, which is clearly defined here. Basically, when you give yourself the opportunity to dissect the pay matrix, and you really want to do that, so you can differentiate why it's patented, why it's exclusive, what does make it different, why it's totally fair and equitable. <clears throat> Please have an understanding that the ownership management team is totally financially solvent. That's huge in today's world, especially when you consider capital, uh, reinvesting, having manufacturing, having to delay production runs or whatever that we all do, or hiring additional help that we all do. I don't, I'm a sole proprietor, but you understand my point. You guys do. <laughs> you guys and gals do, depending on what you do, and especially if you are 
the boss, so to speak. It's a different subset of worries, concerns, money. So for myself, bring that back. In my product videos, you will see my warehouse out of the bowels of my house, my 1,000 square foot mansion and condo, <laughs> and how I've rained down on all these products and how I'm going to be moving forward. The CTFO thing, especially with the CBD craze, to whatever degree, but keep in mind too, please, keep in mind too, within the 70 products they already have, they have a substantial non-CBD uh, breath of product as well. They're dividing 70 more, pro uh, excuse me, an additional 10 more products to add to the 70 products as we speak. They'll be rolling that out over the next 90 days. If you decide to chime into the pay matrix, the predicator, if there is one, I always round up $48 because I always get the change wrong. It's $47.17, $0.77, or whatever. $48 rounding up is less than $48. Get you on the auto ship. You want to do the auto ship to get a 5% built-in discount on your purchase to stay in the matrix. Follow the bouncing ball, please. That keeps you in the pay matrix. Then as your team comes or goes or you formulate it or you decide to do it or whatever, you're at least a client if you believe in the product and like the results for your own particular malady or anxiety, stress, whatever it may be. They have great weight products, weight control products, some of them non-CBD, hair replacement, too late for me. <laughs> I should probably try it for a testimonial to show you on camera. Maybe I'll do that. Um, Ladies, cosmetics, beauty creams, all kind of, really, 70 plus products with another 10. An outstanding back office of tools if you choose to take the opportunity. So through all that rambling, I know from where I speak, I've had many business ventures that have started. I've had many that have failed. I've heard many no's, the word no, like, you know, being rejected. That's what sales is all about, Alfie, especially if you've lived long enough. But I can tell you, having invested several thousands of dollars in former business ventures, trying to get them off the ground, buying, you know, the startup kits or whatever, this is 48 bucks would be the option. And you can still do it free. There's a way to do that, too. But for $48, you can start your own business. All the things I just said, they do take care of for you. To me, that's like finding it. That's how I got introduced to CTFO because I was answering a Craigslist job. <laughs> Ads that I've answered any number of times with all these supplemental income jobs that I've talked about over the years that I've done to maintain the business so I could remain being a sole proprietor to generate the income for rejuvenating the business, having production runs, being able to pay vendors, hopefully pay them in cash, hopefully to sustain, with no aspersions, being able to keep up with their gaps as supplying vendors in production runs or hiring people to, you know, do A, to do B. None of this is negative. None of this is negative, folks. It's what we encounter. It's the nature of the beast. I'm going to talk about a couple of production runs in a minute, one of them being my cow powders. I finally remind everybody, especially in my capacity as an independent ingredient broker, who knows to some degree when you're going to run out of inventory and no aspersions on how we monitor our inventory. It's unique to the kelp. The manufacturing plant, even though some are, to, for some of us, never seems as though it's going to get here and it is coming and all that crazy stuff. Well, August, in and of itself, will be here relatively soon. Case in point, that's when the um, manufacturing plant leads to my kelp powders closes down for a month until after Labor Day. So I always just give a friendly reminder, projections for those folks that buy from me, Michael King, case in point, a guest on my show, one of my supplying vendors, Sacred Clay Line, Vitality Herbs and Clay, just talked to his crew today with a private order. It's been a really good week. Uh, one of my long-standing clients who's gone through a series of personal Maladies herself, two shoulder operations and stuff. She just ordered some of my safety clay. She's ordered it in years. She's actually, when you see my product videos, the person, when I talked about my custom gallon dog butters and the gallon jugs, that's her dog on that can. And it's her that I'm talking about her. 
here amongst him and Klein. So in talking with Michael King's crew about the sacred clay, he loves the water. He touts the water on the tourmaline water, which I'm going to show you in a second. So as usual, I'm in my proverbial corral with my mental issues. I really fight brain fog, and I go into depth about that. It's from my childhood, traumatic guy injury, and self-abuse through the years, and all kinds of combinations thereof. This is also why I deal with all these people as a client in a huge degree, and then represent their products because they have such high efficacy <clears throat> and are reasonably and competitively priced, and that plays back into hopefully my forte of one of my monitors creative solutions for holistic healthcare products distribution and VA sales in town called does do business differently. So looping back into the corral and staying in the corral, my analogy, the CTFO business opportunity can really bring the best of all entrepreneurs and that's what you'll become even if you're not. It's that easy. And you don't have to have been an entrepreneur or a pre-qualifier or a crazy stuff. So hopefully it'll be you and me and real people dedicated to building businesses with authenticity. My emerging sales team will learn from each other. We'll grow from our networks should they develop. We want to build a community and we want to build a community on the local level in support of my efforts to support the Yuma Refuge League. All of that's going to go in together as we network out from the central theme, hopefully, of the meetup group. Thank you. So the CTFO opportunity, it doesn't matter if you've been in business for years or if you're just starting out. It doesn't matter if you're a stay-at-home mom. It doesn't matter if you're looking for part-time, supplemental, full-time. If you're looking to jump in both feet and say, screw the man, screw the nine-to-five, I'm out of here. Whatever fits you, you can retrofit it into this. So it's a unique series of networking events, hopefully, through the original meetup, wherever it goes. Initial meetings are initial meetings. Your conversations before the business pitches. I'll have that all outlined in pamphlets, and I'll have a display, because I really do, at the meeting, when I get there, I want to overview what it, why I'm there and introduce you to my side of it, but I want to make it brief on that, because I really want to get to know what precipitated you guys to come? What are you experiencing? Um, you know, under those umbrellas that I already suggested. Then in subsequent meetings, that gives me a chance to recap it for Seth. Again, conflict and schedule, that's no problem. That He won't be at the initial one. He, he'll be there. He'll be there. And again, in all candor, on the very first Friday, I mean, that's tough for everybody. If I show up and no one's there, there's no offense taken. I understand that. It's very short notice. It's tough. But we'll deal with it, and we'll go accordingly. So don't worry about that as well. And I'll get more entrenched with the coordinator there at the Baron Center that I have to do. That's just a formality. I already talked to her once. You know, to set it up for future events and so forth as well. So that's a hodgepodge of a kind of a brief overview of what's going to happen there, all tied into multiple other subjects that come under the confines of this weekly recap of BA sales, chemical, it is animal products and all my vendor situations um, that are all good and are all perforating simultaneously, so thanks. So just to wrap it up on that, I'll be talking about the 10X Pure and then now the Amethyst Elixir CBD Drink Drops, which are the 10X Pure is exclusively patented rights from the 10X Pure Powerful Health Weapons with CBD and those non-CBD inventory products that I just said a moment ago. Seth's already developing an expansion of his new CBD Drink Drop Amethyst Elixir line There'll be all kinds of comparable products there, which make great companion products to my CTFO. I did a whole show on that. And each of them have their own attributes separately and succinctly, but together, it's just like an amazing cocktail. I'm going to show you that in a second. If indeed you do the CTFO thing and then you come on board and you get off and running and you're in the matrix, you will indeed get paid every Wednesday if that formulates for you to do so. 
Understand that. Please. So there's no gotchas. The free website's free. And there's no cost. You can check that all out on my website and so forth. So Grandpa Bill, myself, and my granddaughter, Ada, and pretty much everything being ordered, if you have an interest, will indeed be at it. Ada's AnimalProducts.com website. Now, I talked a lot about this that this week as well. And I recapped about the business opportunity if it's applicable to yourselves and whatever your present demographic situation is and whatever reason it would be that you would remotely contemplate part-time supplemental income business opportunity. This is the superlative one right here. You come on to my team, hopefully my forte, which is not this. I've talked about that before. Um, it's marketing. Marketing and sales. And just having lived a really long time, I have a little bit of life experience. And I've always been the messenger, but I've been a product of my products as well. But I'm not a clinician or any that kind of crazy stuff. And I've talked about that before. So I don't know if this background music would be audible to yourself. CTFO delivered the future of CBD breakthrough. I want you to hear this. If you can. I'm just going to sit here and listen to you. It's obviously having trouble loading whether you can hear it or not. But I think it comes out of itself. So when that does, I'll stop talking if you can hear the background about the 10x viewer. Thanks for bearing with me. It's cutting in and out. So I'm going to continue. This is the CBD drink drops that I had right to the tourmaline water. That was a full dropper of... Okay, bear with me for a second. Murphy's Law and Equipment. Okay. Whether you can hear the background advertisement or not, it's not cooperating, so thank you. So, putting the CBD drink drops in my tourmaline water, because I'm in the... Uh, I've been on my fast for a couple hours now. I do weekly fast with my tummy water that I'm talking about. And that's just shaking it up. Bear with me for a second. I'm going to take my first sip with the CBD drops. First sip as in right now. I've been using the CBD drink drops since last Sunday when I physically received the package. Hang on a second. So. What differentiates this from the CTFO that I've talked about is self-explanatory. I'll have you go there in my back issues. This is self-sustained and self-contained in the tourmaline water that you just saw me drink. That's the water that's within the bottle. That's within this dropper. That's within my body, your body which will also be <clears throat> soon, but I'll be sending to my manufacturers to see if we can infuse this as well into the aromatherapy for the animals. But on the human side, I just delivered it Wednesday to my first client, Jen, here in Portland. Thanks, Jen. Obviously, I in, in her work week or whatever, I have no idea if she's even had a chance to crack the cap yet, but she also has the 10X Pure, totally for that comparison to find out which one might be better for her particular malady. I'll let her talk about that or expose it at a different time. We all have them, folks. <laughs> we all have them. So for her particular malady, she inquired about, without me divulging anything, would it encompass being... <laughs> A potential remedy for what she encounters and I said well again the standard disclaimer nothing nothing cures anything this pill potion mine yours eyes cream salve all of that the standard disclaimer but what it does do and I'm speaking as a customer myself now I've done CBD myself for about six years all different kinds love my local dispensary Love the personnel that work there. Love the people, love all their other products. For me, I've never found a CBD oil 
of any kind, no aspersions, that worked for me through my local wellness dispensary. They sell many fine products, and there's thousands of clients that love their products. I'm talking about myself. So I found the 10X Pure and the other CTFO products. I use like 10 of them. So I am a client. I am a client of this. The difference for me, besides the visible difference, and what does make it different? They're really synonymous products. You decide. Like Seth says in the description, it does have a marijuana odor, essence, punginess. It is not marijuana. It is not marijuana. It's, it's not. So I just want to make sure that doesn't get lost in the translation. It's awesome. It's palatable. I do it both sublingually. I just put it in my bottle. Excuse me. Like I've always said with all my products, and I had a uh, Michael King from Vitaly Rosen Clay when he was on my show. It's archived on my Black Talk Radio show. He loves the tourmaline water as well, by the way. He touts it on there. We both laughed on that show about the old adage of hopefully not dictatorial, you guys know all that, but respectfully do as I do, maybe in some instances, but no, no, I'm sorry, I always say that wrong. Don't do as I do. How does that old adage go? Do as I say, but don't do as I do. I'm sorry, mental fog. That one. <laughs> well, on the show, we both laugh, Michael and I. I never I never pay attention to you know, take four, take three. I let my body dictate that. Be it good, be it bad. I push the envelope. I have a higher tolerance level. Through all of that rambling, please do adhere to the suggested dosages. Never use me as an example for that part of it. Please do use me as an example of the efficacy because it's awesome. So, pay attention to the dosage. Don't be Grandpa Bill, but it's awesome. It's effective. And I have all these multitudes of things to include central nervous disorder. I get excitable. Uh, I have hypertension. I've had the head trauma, so I got all these brain bullishness going on. I just had nine teeth yanked out of my head that I talked about last year with all these mercury and mag. I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. But I do, to some degree, have some of those repercussions, so... I come in and I come out. That's why I also talk uh, on my product videos and a good thing happened in regards to that this week about my liquid supplements from EMP, Effective Natural Products, and um, the fine folks over there. So I'm about 38 minutes into this rambling session, but to kind of pull it all in to recap this week, want everybody to know, I've been in communique with Seth, and Seth's been in communique with me, and it's just a scheduling problem. It's actually good problems to have in the growth of small businesses, as we all know. The trials and tribulations of you had to do A to get to B, and you have to make sure that it doesn't impede your progress. We all know that. Thus is what I hope to have materialized at the meetup meeting as well. A little bit of letting off some steam. I want to make sure I embrace that correctly. Now, I don't want it to be, you know, a forum where we're all screaming and yelling. I'm not a casting dispersion. At the same time, especially on a Friday night, if thank you for coming, when and if you do, and as they materialize. I do really want it to be like you can put your feet up. I want you to feel that comfortable. I want us all to feel that comfortable. We put up with enough BS in life during the week. So I just wanted to be comfortable, and when I say a release of some steam, just the frustrations that we all experience in the job. Level. I don't want it to be a cowboy movie, and we're going to throw chairs around the world. It's my crazy example, but please understand the flavor and the tenure of it, and it will all be just fine. So now that it's Saturday morning at the time of this taping on the 11th, I'll incorporate a lot of this probably in my blog talk show later today. Happy Mother's Day when it becomes officially Mother's Day this weekend. All the moms out there, 
God bless my mom so. Mom, happy Mother's Day. My wife, my daughter in law, my sisters. <laughs> Are you moms? In my crazy sense of human. <laughs> Are you other mothers out there? It's a joke. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. All right. Try to smile. Keep smiling. It releases endorphins. Try to appreciate that wherever you come in and out of these shows, my radio shows, the blogs, the websites, there's all those crazy scenarios that you might be seeing this before my show. You might be seeing this three weeks from the taping of the show. And all those variables in our own individual lifestyles and within the demographics and ubiquitous audience and invited audience and so forth. Final note on the CTFO, no harm, no pressure. Those that have come to the webinars and have gone to the sale, internal sales meetings and what have you, I'd like to just button up your decisions to whichever way it may be. By like next Friday, there's a reason for that for me being self-serving because I'm also extending lifetime membership discount for all of my BA sales account help in Ada's products as an extra tool in the overall tool bag, if indeed you come on to accentuate um, money <laughs> for yourselves. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. I'll see you somewhere the next time around. And always remember that BA sales, kennel kelp, Ada's animal products, Beth Bell, Seth Brzezanski, Mike King, Trina Felber, Kathy Janelle Vickak, the bonds, those are all my supplying vendors now of my family of products. We all collectively support and promote good health in all animals and their people, plants, and the planet. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you the next time. Thank you.